Well, boys, we are back with another video. It was a um, busy day on good old Reddit, which is the worst place on the internet. But it was a busy day there. Um, there was a lot of people talking about Mage versus Necros and Solos and who can do what. And I tried to be polite, but it's, sometimes it's hard to come across online as like, hey, sorry, but you just don't know because clearly you're not a full-time Necro. And people people get frustrated when you kind of just, there's no nice way to put it, but you call them out on their, their BS because you know for a fact they're wrong. But having said that, this video is not about Solo as a Necro because you've already got a library of videos from me and from another of other really cool content creators, um, including one that left me a comment today, 12 Strings, who I've watched his stuff for a while um, when I wasn't playing EverQuest because I was moving, because life was in the way, because, you know, sometimes you just don't have time to log in. I'd still watch his videos on all of his different tunes, including his Necro, and I hope he makes more content because I really liked his stuff. And anyway, this video is about a different post. Somebody asked, you know, it was something like, hey, I've got four tunes I box and I don't do Overseer. And there were a lot of great responses to that. Like, hey, man, log in and do Overseer. It's nothing. And really, it is nothing. And there were people that were like, hey, it takes five seconds. Click the quest, get the collection items, get the Merc experience, Merc experience whatever it is you want. Um, I'm just going to show you right now. I just had five active quests. You can see Max completed five out of ten. And I am one of those guys that's collecting Overseer Collection Item Dispenser Fragments. You need four of them to make an Overseer Collection Item Dispenser. And like a lot of people said on the post, hey, it's it takes five minutes, just do it. And you can collect these dispensers and then you can complete your collection uh, achievements and not even have to bother about going to the zones, which is 100% accurate. I obviously I do my best to pick up as much stuff as I can as I'm grinding through different expansions. But sometimes you miss out on things. Sometimes it's just not worth your time. For example... I can't stand Frontier Mountains. It is on test server, and I think it is on everywhere, the worst zone possible because it's filled with EQ macros or EQ quest or boxers or whatever they're called nowadays with just armies of people that are just grinding out the most simple, quickest respawns. They don't care about are they killing blues or light blues or, or reds or yellows or even cones? But as you can see, I mean, I just, I did what I had to do to get through empires. I've cleared as much of it as I possibly can solo. Honestly, the only thing I'm missing solo is this group, a tree bee, a tray bee, I don't know, quest. And... Even at 115, with fully buffed everything, it's just too much. Um, so, maybe at 116, with a better pet, I'll be able to come back and do this solo, and I'll be able to complete everything other than the raids. Anyway, let me show you collections. I have last to get is drinking solution in the Frontier Mountains. So, I'll hold down right click. I'll click claim rewards. I will go to Empires of Kunark. I will select. That puts that right here. I will right click it. I will hit Claim Reward. I will go to Frontier Mountains. I will hit Select again. For the last time, I will hold down right click. I will click Claim Reward. 
And this time I want drinking solution and I haven't collected a single one. So I'll just click the first one, giant gin. I'll hit select option. It goes into my backpack. I right click on it. And as you can see, I am now seven away from completing this, which is 28 of these fragments, which I think you average one, but sometimes you can get two for each one of these overseer requests that you complete. When you go ahead and double check, triple check, after a while you start to know when you pick the right quest. So I just burned through five of them. And I will show you right now. See the first one here. I just want to talk. Preview reward. It has what do all we're carrying, carrying for is mercenary or ornamentation dispenser. Well, I've got plenty of ornament, ornamentation, so I'm not going to pick that one. The next one, box exploration. Now, this is what I want because collection item dispenser. So hit select. Uh, my uh, Dabner gnome looking dude is unavailable at the moment. I don't have any others to pick from. I'm going to have to skip heart shaped box, which is a great cover by Nirvana. So move on to I Zoom So as well. It's Stealth. I'm pretty sure Stealth is not what we want. It's got or ornamentation and Merc. Um, as much as I do need Merc experience, I'm not willing to use it right now. I want to complete those achievements. So I'll go to Blood Moon Rising, which is Exploration. Exploration is one that we want. It has Collection. So let's see. Explorer 3, I know I've got those, and I do. I've got plenty of them. Uh, move on down to Harvester. I've got plenty of those. Just pick the first one. It's got two greens. That's great. Soldier. I've got a million of those. Pick the first one. Merchant. Same deal. Scholar. Same deal. It just easy. You know. It's. It takes a total of five minutes. You run through. You remember the last one I was at was trade level five common trade. Um, collection item dispenser. It's great. We want it. I don't think I have a merchant level four, which I don't. So can't do these level fives yet. I need to continue to recruit. I need to continue to level. I need to continue to convert and get rid of the lower level ones. I need to just work the program. But this is all you have to do. It's just simple. Just click. If you're confused, oh, I don't want to do this one because I don't want ornamentation. But what if you were, I'll be honest, I leveled up probably half of 114 to 115 with Overseer. Character experience, it gives a decent chunk. I found between that and using Lesson and getting XP pots because I'm on test, it all added up really quickly and I was able to blow through 114 to 115. So I can't stress it enough. It takes no time. And I've got a Warrior at 110, a Rogue at 110, and a Berserker at 110. And they all burn through overseers. I've got a shaman that I am trying to level up just because I get tired of missing shaman buffs. I think it's at 90. I'm, I utilize overseer. I probably get more experience through overseer than I do through... Okay, well, that's not true. But I get a lot of experience through overseer. And if you are a necro that has your trade skills up and you are having to make trade skill gear for your job right here or right here fish scales right here lumber all of these i have picked up through my multiple bots boxes sorry multiple boxes of running overseer i also because i'm on test i have a copy mule on my main account that Excelon is tied to, Excelon being on the Looseland server, or Lucklin or whatever it's called. I have a, a copy bot on my main account that's running Overseer. That bot grinds through and gets me a couple ores every, you know, every 12 hours. And I can copy it over. Now, I know you can't do that on live, but you can still run through Overseer. You can pick up the uh, trade skill items. You can pick up the ornamentation if you want you know i've got this dagger looking thing on my ie dagger because it looks cool 
and I can't stand the look of IE. It looks cartoonish. Um, you can also do the uh, collection quest. You can just power level up your Merc AA. This is a great, easy, simple thing, and I try to time it for 12-hour quest every time because that way I can I can log on, run it, and the next time I log on, it's guaranteed to be done. And I, I think, I haven't really paid attention since the changes, but I think the 12-hour quests are, are a lot better than the 6-hour. So, anyway, I just wanted to throw this together and push it out immediately. Um, there's a lot of videos I've got queued up with some more soloing, some more grinding, some more, some more losses. You know, if you saw the one today, it was, it was a rough one. But I wanted to get this one out immediately because that post was up. And just want, wanted to show that Overseer is worth the five minutes it takes once a day to do. Um, I'm not a min-maxer kind of guy, but I do know people that set a 12-hour timer. They, they log in every 12 hours and they just burn through Overseer. And you don't have to pay for it. Yeah, you could probably be a lot more successful and get a lot more out of it with it, but who wants to pay for a generic offline quest that gives you, you know, trade skill items? That's not worth it to me. So, hope this video helps somebody. I'm pretty sure it will. Um, and guys, I appreciate all the posts and the comments and the subscriptions. It was really cool of you guys to add some stuff today. Um, I'm going to continue to make necromancer-focused videos because, like I said somewhere along the lines of day, ever since Necro Talk went down, um, it's just been hard to find like, you know, current necromancer information. And I know I'm not going through like, you know, here's how you do the mercenary of Western Waste quest because it's that's not really a 10-minute video, and I'm not into making an hour and a half stuff. There are some pretty cool dudes on YouTube that do, but that's not for me because I just hit record and start talking and start playing and I hit stop. I don't edit anything. Um, so I'm going to keep making these just to help people out because uh, or sorry, Necro Talk was a big thing for me as I was leveling up on live on, on Lucelin, Lucklin. And now that I'm on test, I can just, you know, push the limit with... What some people say is the best gear. Um, I, I mean, I know for a fact there are guys on, you know, like the FV server copying over full raid tier three, whatever the heck it is. You know, I've got 327,000 hit points. They have 400,000. They're doing things I'm not doing. I am a full-time test player, so I don't have the benefit of gearing up on the 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 super servers and copying over the best stuff and buying rank three spells and all that so i know there's some people saying hey he's he's got the best gear and he's on test well i do have some good gear but i've also earned it and something that everyone should be aware of is you you can't earn augs through test copy you've got to go get them because there's components that are always no drops so when I show you things like, you know, high-end augs, like Sleeper's Essence, well, first off, you won't see a copy tag on it because I earned it because I soloed the Servant of the Sleeper, um, and I've got that aug. When I show you something like Volume Threaded Gem of Brilliance, I made that with ores that I grinded by killing named tier one or tier whatever in Tom and Cobb. Like, just because I'm on test doesn't mean that I've got the, the easiest path. And anyone on live that puts in the time can do the exact same thing. It doesn't matter what server you're on, necromancers can basically handle, as I have said repeatedly, 95% of soloing of group missions of group grinds of dungeon crawls whatever so i'm going to wrap this up before it hits 15. appreciate you guys i hope this video helps somebody with not just overseer but also with just my stupid rambling on being a necro and being on test and i'll see you boys in the next video